Hey guys, welcome back. So today, I'm gonna be giving you guys a full-on review and also bringing you along throughout my day. Not a ton, but to show you guys all about this foundation. So I did get this foundation in the mail. It's the Born This Way Matte Foundation. This was a PR package that I was sent. I actually was gonna try out the color. I tried it out and it was way too light. They sent me vanilla, not my shade. My shade is definitely warm beige. So that is the color. I went ahead and purchased it on Sephora, waited for it to come in, tried to film another first impressions, and it didn't go. All in all, I've actually tried this foundation quite a few times. It's the only foundation I've been using. I will let you guys know my thoughts, but we're going to go ahead and jump on into it. I'm going to show you the coverage, my favorite application, and just let you see what it looks like on my skin. So if you guys are interested in this video, definitely keep watching and don't forget to subscribe before you leave. And let's just go ahead and hop on into this video. So I've already applied my primers. I went ahead and did that because it's same old, same old primer. So I used the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Coconut Primer. And then I also did use my Tatcha Silk Canvas Primer. This is just the travel size. And like I said, this is the foundation. It is the Born This Way Matte from Too Faced. It claims that it has 24 hour wear. Also claims it's oil free, oil controlling, transfer resistant, humidity and sweat resistant, and then waterproof. So this is the PR package that I got. I just went ahead and bought my shade. I knew I was warm beige. That is actually what shade I am in in the Peach Perfect Foundation the Peach Perfect Matte, which I have not compared these two. That would kind of be a good video. I'm kind of thinking I should test both of them out. This one says oil, fee, oil free 14 hour wear, oil controlling, photo friendly. Now I'm kind of wondering if I should do like half this side, half this side, because I know what I think about this, but I haven't tried them together, but I do really like this foundation. So I'm curious if this is different than this. Do you feel me? I'm gonna go ahead and do this one on my right side of my face. So both of these colors are in warm beige. They should match if I do half and half. I love the packaging in this. It's like the regular Born This Way foundation packaging, but it's just longer and skinnier. The other one's a little bit shorter and wide. I think the biggest claim is that this one's 24 hours and the Peach Perfect is 14. That's really the only other thing and waterproof and transfer resistant because this does not say that either, but we will see. So anywho, what I like to do is apply my primer. I'll do a couple pumps on the back of my hand. So I'm gonna just use a sponge today and I like to use the butt of it and just blend this out so it does have really good coverage I'm gonna apply this on this side of my face I do like the coverage of it and the color is nice too so that is what it looks like with one application it looks really good there's like a little bit of redness here I'm gonna tap just a little bit over here and then if you're new here this is all um, rosacea I do have rosacea redness all the good stuff honestly like I said I mean it really takes no time to blend it out and have it look good on the skin it does still have a little bit of a sheen to it and it will have a sheen until you completely set it down with powder. I noticed that every time I use this foundation I always thought maybe it'll be matte you know by the time I get done with concealer and all that stuff and no it definitely has like a sheen to it which is why I think it's okay at least this one is okay for dry skin because it's not a flat matte. If you're like me and you already had this foundation and it's like one of your favorites I think this review will really benefit you and help you decide like should I buy this or should I just like use this until you're completely done and you have no other matte foundation. You know what I'm saying I do love this packaging though I'm just like a sucker for this there's like a slight peachy tint so that is one of the differences too with this obviously it was the peach collection everything smells like peaches which I didn't mind I'm just gonna have apply with this top part of the sponge It'll take just a little bit longer because it's smaller and have a big face so the colors are slightly different I feel like my right side is darker, but maybe it'll all work out. I'm gonna kinda go between the lines because listen, we can't have a line of demarcation. There's definitely a difference in color. The Born This Way seems a little bit darker, which makes me nervous. But again, I mean, they both still look really good. They look pretty much the same minus this line in here. I'm really gonna work this out on my forehead right here because I can see that line. So again, this one kinda has that sheen too. I did use more on this side and I feel like I got better coverage on this side. I will say that. I do feel like this one is looking more matte right now than this one, but I think it's just because it needs to work on setting. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna go ahead and move on to concealer and go throughout our day and do our makeup and just kind of see how both of these work. But what I'm gonna do is go ahead and use this Dior Forever Skin Correct Concealer. This is good, but it's not like something I would be like, go out and buy it. I don't think it's like the bee's knees, you know, for concealer, but it's nice. I'm just gonna apply this underneath my eyes and I'm gonna do the same exact thing for both sides that way you know everything is fair and then take a little bit here 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 
here like always and then blend out with the sponge I'm gonna blend this side first all right we're gonna blend out all of this so far I have to say I like this side better even though it is a different color I think I like the color better of this warm beige than I do this one too because it actually matches my neck a lot better okay you can definitely see a little bit more glow over here a little less glow on this side Blend this nose I'm going to take a powder I'm gonna use this pretty vulgar powder that I got in a haul that you guys saw and I'm going to set my makeup with this. I set absolutely everything when you have very oily skin. I have found using a sponge to set first off really helps me. I feel like I get the best coverage. I feel like nothing ever moves when I use a sponge. I also feel like it really presses into the skin so that way my makeup lasts longer and I stay matte a little bit longer. It's just my preferred method. Setting is also one of my favorite things. Like I love foundation and then setting the makeup always like if I use my favorite powders I'm like wow that's the difference. Where's the pores? It really amps up everything. I'm also going to set my eyelids because I have very greasy eyelids. That is everything. I feel like we're looking pretty even. I still like this side a little bit better. Could I pinpoint it? No. I just feel like I like the tone a little bit more. So that's where I'm at right now. But we're looking decent. I'm going to go ahead and finish up the rest of my makeup, bronze, contour, all that stuff. So I'm going to do that now and then I'll come back, let you guys know what time it is. And then we will test it a little bit longer throughout the day and see how both of these sides last. Okay guys, so I have everything on minus mascara. I need to curl my lashes downstairs. My eyelash curl is down there. So I will not put on mascara without curling my lashes because I don't know if you guys can tell, but my lashes go like down. <laughs> they need to go up. I want to get one of those um, lash perms, but I've watched so many videos of them and they're kind of terrifying for me to watch. So I'm like, mm, do I really want to do that? <laughs> But anyways, um, everything is on. I think everything looks really good. I think my contour over here got a little crazy today. I don't know why I didn't want to blend as well. This side does look really good though. Could just be because of me though. I did like a little bit of a heavy hand, which whatever, you know. I'm actually going to pick up a few things today at Ulta. I'm gonna mask up and go over there because I've been avoiding it this entire time. But I need to go over there and get like eyelash curler, tweezers, sharpener, you know, the basic stuff that you need. So I'm going to do that today. Let me know if you guys have your palette still. This is like my first collab ever. The Smashbox collab, the Spotlight palette. Oh, this is my last one in my collection. Like I had so many and this is my last final one. So once this one's gone, she's gone for good. And I'm like super sad, but I think everything's looking pretty good so far. Let me know what you guys think. I'm still kind of favoring this side, just looking at it, looking at it in the mirror and in my viewfinder. This side's just a little bit more smooth and blended out just a little bit better. This side doesn't look as blended, but this side looks like it's blended really well. I will update you guys throughout the day, let you know what it's looking like, show you on the vlog camera, and then we'll come back at the end of the day and I will share how they both wore and if I think they're different. It is 12.06 right now. I'll check back in with you guys in just a little bit. Okay guys, I had to resort to my iPhone 
because my camera just died but i wanted to share with you i just got to ulta to pick up a couple things but i do think both sides look really good i still think i favor this side just maybe texture wise no complaints here but it's only been like not even an hour so yeah i'm gonna wear my mask hopefully none of my makeup comes off of my nose i never ended up putting mascara on i brought it with me but i was like ugh. grab my mask and then we're gonna go pick up some items that i really need so just so you guys can see i haven't worn this one this is one of the disposable ones yeah nothing on it so We'll see. Okay, so I just got back in my car, got some items. I got what I needed. I've been needing a new wet brush for forever. Like my wet brush, the little tips of it are like not there anymore. So it scratches my head every time I use it. And I'm like, listen, I tried to order stuff that I could pick up her curbside, but I don't know why. Some of the stuff that I tried to get like the wet brush, I could not get it to where I could pick it up curbside. I'm gonna show you guys my mask. Most of what you'll probably see, I'll do another up close thing, but most of what's on here is my lipstick. There's a little bit of my nose, but not much. I mean, everything else still seems like it's going strong. So I do have a little bit more stuff to do. I might actually go get a acai bowl. I don't know, we'll see. I'm gonna take Mason with me though. I don't know, the weather's kind of looking iffy. We'll see, but like I said, I'm gonna keep wearing this throughout the day, but so far it's really not bad at all. Hey guys, so I'm back and I'm gonna give you kind of the full spiel, let you know what time it is, show you my masks that I wore today. So it is 8.31 now. I went out earlier, you guys saw in the little phone video that I did and actually Mason and I went out again, had acai bowls. I figured I would share with you guys because I did wear my mask and I was talking obviously more with Mason when I was inside with my mask and getting my order before we went out. You can definitely see that it came off the mask a little bit more. You're not really able to tell on camera as much but there is like a slight tint of everything on here and mainly right here from my nose it came off quite a bit and then the rest is like my lipstick or whatever like you really don't see a lot of cheek makeup and then when I look at my nose and I look at my face nothing is really worn off you know what I mean like even wearing a mask and stuff like that I have not touched my face at all I haven't even blotted anything like that it still looks really good it doesn't look worn down I guess it still looks in place everything is still going strong bronzer blush highlight all of that with the born this way matte foundation I have worn it many times before like I mentioned to you guys and I do definitely have to blot with this foundation so today it wasn't as hot as it normally is it's normally super hot I have to blot for sure and that's just kind of normal for me anyways like with most foundations I'm gonna have to blot I don't know about this being waterproof I don't know about that situation <laughs> I would say I would try it but like I don't feel like wearing a full-blown foundation to the lake I don't know maybe I'll try it and update you guys but today was not the day. Both sides are pretty similar. I would say this area is a little bit more dewy than this side, but for the most part, they look the same. I'm going to just go ahead and take my tissue and blot everything. I didn't really notice a lot of transfer or anything like that. I'll be honest with you, especially on my mask. You know, these foundations definitely work better than a lot of other ones I've tried. So if you're wearing a mask for a long period of time, maybe test them out. I didn't wear my mask for that long, you know, cause I was either inside or outside, but look after blotting, everything looks great. And back to normal you know I have to just get that initial oil off and then that's pretty much what came off which is not bad at all and basically what that is is my oil and powder that's barely any foundation sometimes I'll blot and a lot of color is on the tissue so in my personal opinion I think both of these foundations are really nice um, they last pretty much the same I definitely think you're gonna have to blot if you're oily and it's hot if you have the Too Faced peach perfect foundation I don't necessarily think you have to run out and go get this one in my opinion I kind of think maybe they are just fake this out and this is like the replacement for it but they kind of just look the same to me on the skin I was favoring this one I still kind of am favoring this one just a little bit more which I wasn't expecting to be honest I thought I was gonna favor this one this one's just like a little bit more dewy a tiny tiny bit less coverage the color obviously is a little bit lighter as you guys saw so I would probably use this one but I will continue to use this as well they are very very similar I mean there's just slight differences with these products it's nothing crazy but I do like both of them so if you don't have this product and you don't have this product, I would say just go with this one. Kind of get used to this because I feel like this is going to be gone. I would be surprised if they kept it, to be honest with you. I hope this video was helpful for you guys. This is just what it looks like at the end of the day. I'm about to go wash my face and get everything off my skin so I can breathe. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I saw NARS is actually coming out with another foundation. So I'm hoping to try that out soon. Let me know if you guys like when I try things out and come back on a review or first impressions. I like both. I like a first impression and I like a review. So let me know your favorite favorites, but thank you guys again for watching. I will see you all in my next video. Bye!